Hello guys, welcome to my channel. FTA liberalization in insurance companies and harmonization of insurance regulation. What has changed in the year gone by? As well as indirect shareholding of foreign investors in an Indian insurance company, directly Indian investor or promoted indirectly is taken into consideration the ambiguity however lies in whenever indirect shareholding of a foreign investor should be taken into consideration for the purpose of the cap only if such indirect foreign investor has also directly made investment in the indian insurance company this aspect is not quite clear from the regulation itself moreover to include direct and indirect foreign investment in Indian insurance companies from the same foreign investor does not appear to be in alignment with the spirit of the intention of the IRTAI. In the light of the above, further investment in Indian insurance companies shall be made pursuant to a thorough analysis of the already existing foreign investment direct and indirect in such Indian insurance companies. More so, if the holding company of the relevant Indian insurance company is foreign owned and controlled, the amendment to the registration regulation has also introduced the requirement for a, an insurance company with foreign investment that is seeking registration to have either the managing director, chief executive officer, or the whole time director, along with the promoter of the company to submit an affidavit to the IRTAI, certifying compliance with the residency and citizenship qualification in addition to the application for a grant of registration certificate. A similar affidavit is also needed to certify compliance with the requirement to return profits and having not less than 50% of its return their directors and independent directors unless the chairperson of its board is an independent director. If the foreign investment of the company seeking registration is more than 49%. The amendment has also introduced a requirement for assigning insurers to submit an undertaking along with relevant attachments confirming their compliance with the residency and citizenship qualification signed by the chief executive officer and chief compliance officer. This undertaking is required to be submitted to the IRDAI within 45 days of the board meeting on which such compliance is confirmed. In addition, to the above, we would like to specify that in case of insurance brokers pursuant to liberalization of FDI up to 100% and withdrawal of the IOCC guidelines being made applicable to them. A new regulation 21A was introduced in the IRTAI insurance brokers regulation 2018 to provide that every insurance broker with majority foreign shareholding will be required to furnish an undertaking in the prescribed from the to the IRTAI. By way of such undertaking, insurance brokers are required to confirm that they will prosecute prior IRTAI permission for representing dividend bringing in latest technological, managerial, and other skills. Majority of directors on the board shall be resident Indian citizen. Please click here for more information in relation to liberalization of FTI in the insurance broking sector. In any case, please note that not such similar provision have been introduced for Indian insurance companies. However, we will need to wait and watch for the any further similar regulatory restrictions that the IRTAI may impose on Indian insurance company. In addition to the above amendment, 
the IRTEI has issued of sequel date May 18, 20 and 20 to Inter Alia provide that in light of issuance of press note number 3, 20 and 20 series by the government of India. Insurance intermediaries shall be required to provide an undertaking duly signed by the principal officer and compliance officer as applicable confirming compliance with the press not number 3, 20 and 20 series along with a certificate certified through copy of the birth resolution of the insurance intermediary confirming compliance with press note number 3, 20 and 20 series and the approval of the government of India with respect to compliance with press note number 3, 20 and 20 series wherever applicable the this increases due diligence check with respect to non-resident investors that are required to be undertaken by an incident intermediary to ensure that the requirements of press not number 3, 20 and 20 series are complete with. While the insurance intermediary is required to provide an undertaking to the IRTAI in this regret, it may also have to pressure a similar back-to-back -back undertaking from the non-resident investor. A similar requirement is not there in relation to insurance companies. However, amendments have also been made under Indian corporate laws to introduce additional reporting requirement in relation to press note number 3 also post an increase in the FTI limit to 74%. We have come across instances of the Greenfield investment wherein the IRTAI has emphasized on naming the foreign entity or the more than 49% in the Indian insurance company. As a foreign promoter, along with naming an Indian entity having significant board rights and shareholding of 10% or more in the insurance company as an Indian promoter. This is in addition to subjecting the Indian promoter and the foreign promoter to a log in period. Conclusion in February 20 and 21, when the government announced the move to increase the FTI to 74%, there were concerns regarding the extent to which the India government may press the requirement that the control of Indian insurance companies remain in the hands of Indian residents. However, expect accept certain residency requirement for directors and key managerial personnel and the requirement to appoint additional independent directors as discussed above. The folder condition are likely to be imposed rise in the FTI cap in India insurance company and the changing legal landscape recognize the need for FTI in the insurance sector and the demand for capital, better know how and global best practice. Thereby, this change in the FDI limit has renewed investment activities in the last one and a half years and triggered multiple transactions involving increases FDI in Indian insurance companies. Considering that foreign investors now have the ability to negotiate a reset of the arrangement with India promoters, we anticipate a surge in FDI in the insurance sector in the coming years. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friend to your family uh, to others and to your someone love and happy enjoy it thank you for
watching and bye